हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डिजिटल क्लासेस दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स साइंस दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फोर शॉर्टिंग मटेरियल्स इनटू ग्रुप दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो फॉर चैप्टर नंबर फोर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट शॉर्टिंग मटेरियल इनटू ग्रुप the objective around us what are the various object made up of some common characteristic of the material some important properties of material like physical state appearance color luster texture hardness uh, we uh, we discussed about solubility in water means the substance are soluble or insoluble in water materials may float or sink in water behavior towards light transparency now today i am going to tell you about other interesting properties of the material in addition to physical state appearance solubility flotation transparency some other interesting properties of material are described like conduction of heat means the substance are or a material are good conductor of heat non conductor of heat or poor conductor of heat good conductor of heat are called conductor of heat and poor conductor of heat are called insulator of heat all cooking utensils like kettle pressure cooker etc are made up of metals but their handles are made up of either wood or hard plastic why are the handle of these things made up of wood or a plastic you must have seen your uh, mom working in a kitchen with uh, kettle or pressure cooker uh, they uh, she may use some cotton cloths to pick up utensils so why why is cotton cloth are used for lifting hot utensils to ans to find an answer to this question first we know about some important things like uh, materials which are conduct heat quickly are called good conductor of heat like silver copper aluminum stainless steel brass mercury are good conductor of heat means mostly they are metal material which do not conduct heat are called non conductor of heat air wood backlight are non conductor of heat means which do not allow the heat to pass through it the material which conduct heat very slowly are called poor conductor of heat water glass are the poor conductor of heat now see this is a electric cooker which is made up of metal but their handle may be made up of plastic you see we use spoon either made up of plastic wood or steel used for mix materials while cooking spoon made up of plastic or wood are poor conductor of heat while spoon made up of steel are good conductor of heat the substance which are heat conductor material that heat can travel through easily are good conductor of heat or heat conductor heat insulator material that do not allow heat to travel through them easily like plastic spoon or wood spoon are heat insulator now you see the knife nickel knife is a heat conductor or insulator it is a conductor with uh, because it is made up of metal you see the rubber toy is a heat conductor or insulator it is a insulator or bad conductor because it is made up of rubber and 
do not conduct heat now you see the plastic bottles are heat conductor or insulator plastic are insulator as it is non conductor of heat which means which do not allow the heat to pass through it now see the silver coin it is a heat conductor or insulator it is a conductor because silver coin is a metal and which allow the heat to pass through it now kettle is a heat conductor or insulator it is a conductor because kettle is made up of metal but we can hold the kettle easily because their handle are made up of bakelite or the material that is bad conductor of heat which do not allow the heat to pass through it so we can hold the kettle by the handle easily without feeling warm now everyone know about the aluminium foil that is used in our kitchen now you tell me heat is a uh, it is a heat conductor or insulator it is a conductor because aluminium is a metal and metal allow the heat to pass through it everyone know about the string or may see the string now string is a heat conductor or insulator string is a insulator as it is made up of uh, jute or uh, synthetic fiber etc so it cannot conduct conduct heat or cannot pass the heat through it now key key is a heat conductor or insulator it is a conductor because it is made up of met metal and metal are good conductor of heat means it allow the heat to pass through it so it conduct heat i think everyone has teddy bear at their toy collection so the teddy bear is a heat conductor or insulator teddy bear is a insulator as it is made up of synthetic fiber or clothes clothes are insulator because it cannot allow the heat to pass through it now the gold ring gold ring is a insulator or conductor gold ring is a conductor because it is made up of metal and metals are good conductor of heat which allow the heat to pass through it now the glass glass is a conductor or insulator when everyone take a glass fill with hot water and check it is a insulator or conductor when we put hot water into the glass the glass mildly heat up means it is an it is a poor conductor of heat now rubber tire is a heat conductor or insulator it is a insulator rubber is a insulator which do not allow the uh, heat to pass through it but while using the by using the rubber tire for some time you will observe that the tire become mild hot means mild hot indicates that the it is a poor conductor of heat now the another property is the material is magnetic or non magnetic magnetic material are those material which are attracted towards a magnet and non magnetic material are those material that are not attracted towards a magnet to find out a substance or a material is magnetic or non magnetic we can use magnet bring a magnet towards a heap of iron pin what happen iron pin get attracted towards the magnet now bring the magnet near a heap of sawdust what happens sawdust is not attracted by the magnet 
example of magnetic material metals like nickel cobalt steel iron steel paper are the magnetic material which are attracted towards the magnet when we bring a magnet near the substance now there are few magnetic substance so if you want to remember it you can you can learn like i can see nick the first letter is i which is represent iron now the first letter of can c cobalt first letter of c s steel first letter of nick is n nickel so iron cobalt steel nickel are the magnetic material which are attracted towards the magnet now the non magnetic substances are silver earring gold ring aluminum cane plastic paper cloth etc example of non magnetic material are paper glass plastic rubber wood etc now let us check the substances magnetic or non magnetic first is aluminum cane it is a non magnetic substance now the knife made up of cobalt it is a magnetic or non magnetic substance so the cobalt knife is a magnetic substance which is attracted towards the magnet now the copper coin is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance copper coin is made up of metal but it is a non magnetic substance because it is not attracted towards the magnet now the silver coin is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance silver coin is a metal but it is a non magnetic substance it is not attracted towards the magnet now the copper key is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance so copper key is a metal but it is a non magnetic substance it cannot attract it towards the magnet now the coin made up of nickel is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance nickel is a magnetic substance so the nickel coin is a magnetic substance so it is attracted towards the magnet now the glass cup glass cup is magnetic or a non magnetic substance it is a non magnetic substance it cannot be attracted towards magnet now the gold ring is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance it is a non magnetic substance because it cannot attract towards the magnet now the iron nail is iron nail magnetic or non magnetic it is magnetic because iron is attracted towards magnet now steel spoon is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance it is a magnetic substance because steel is attracted towards the magnet now the plastic spoon is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance plastic spoon is a non magnetic substance as it is made up of plastic and plastic do not attract towards the magnet so it is a non magnetic substance now the next is copper kettle is a magnetic or a non magnetic substance copper kettle is non magnetic substance because copper is not attracted towards the magnet now this is a nickel lighter is it a magnetic substance or not yes nickel lighter is a magnetic substance because nickel is attracted towards the magnet now the third is conductor and non conductor of electricity we use electricity in home and factories electricity is generated at power station or power houses power station are generally situated far away from the place where electricity is used how is electricity brought from power station to the place of work electricity is brought from the power station to the place at use with the help of cables and wires these cables and wires are made from aluminum or copper 
can we use wire or cable or plastic jute or any other material for transmitting electricity the answer is no silver is the best conductor of electricity but it is not used for making cables and wire because of its high cost material like rubber polythene bakelite are called insulator or non conductor of electricity now the question arises what is an electrical conductor electrical conductor are the material that allow electric current to flow through it this is because the copper aluminum and other metals permit electricity to flow through them and substance like plastic jute etc do not what do you think what type of the material are electrical conductor is it aluminum is it rubber is it wood conductors are the material which allow the electricity to pass through it so you will understand aluminum rubber wood which are conductor and which are insulator now what is an electrical insulator electrical insulator are the material that do not allow the electricity to flow through it now what do you think what type of material are electrical insulator electrical insulator are the substance or a material which do not allow the electricity to pass through it like glasses pencils are the insulator now this is a very important question the question is what is the difference between conductor and insulator conductor is a substance that transmit heat or electricity whereas an insulator restrict the transfer of heat or electricity conductors contain a large number of free electrons to move from higher end to the lower end whereas insulator do not contain free electrons metals are mostly conductors non metals are insulators now how are the material grouped not all different looking things may differ from each other in all respect some may be similar in one way or the other such similarities may be in term of their color shape size physical state uses etc things which are similar in one or more ways can be grouped together for example all human beings can be divided into two groups males and females our food item can be grouped as cereal pulses fat oil etc our cloth may be grouped into various groups such as such as pants shirts kurtas etc grouping is done on the basis of similarities in one or more way need convenience the material can be grouped on the basis of similarities or difference in their properties the properties which form the basic of grouping are shape size color texture taste material they are made up of physical state hardness nature living or non living natural or man made etc classified into different groups makes it easier to work with them help us to learn their property easily see the advantage of sorting material such as disposal for proper proper disposal of objects it is important to sort them into group of biodegradable and non biodegradable substance for example degradable substance dry waste and wet waste should also be separated to ensure longer decay time during the transit period for non biodegradable substance the object should be sorted into recycle and non recyclable substance as to reduce wastage of material now advantage of grouping while grouping things or material similar things or material are placed together for convenience material things used quite often are placed nearer 
ग्रुपिंग ऑफ थिंग्स और मटीरियल इज़ वेरी यूजफुल इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन आ ग्रॉसरी शॉप पल्सेस सीरियल स्पाइसिस सोप शैम्पू एसेट्रा आर प्लेस्ड इन अ सेपरेट ग्रुप एट डिफरेंट लोकेशन एट द केमिस्ट अरेंज वेरियस मेडिसिन ईदर अल्फाबेटिकली और बाय द कंपनी नेम इफ ही कीप दिस मेडिसिन रैंडमली विदाउट एनी ग्रुपिंग इट वुड बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू लोकेट द नीडेड मेडिसिन इन अ स्वीट शॉप ऑल्सो स्वीट्स आर सो अरेंज देयर सिमिलर स्वीट्स आर प्लेस टूगेदर in a bookshop books are arranged on a basis of classes or the subjects i think everyone understand about the chapter number 4 shorting materials into groups